Good morning, you. <laughs> Good morning, you. Morning. That, that just suits me better, doesn't it? The instead of this. Good morning, you. No. Morning. How are we all today? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another episode of Month Review. This one is obviously for May because we've just finished May. Let's get straight into it. So if you don't know what these are before, I'll link the first one we did up above. It's basically just a quick little video of me shouting out my favorite creators for this month, my going through my favorite photos of the month and just showing a bit of love to everyone in the creative community. Main summary, another month of not really much happening because we're all in lockdown. Uh, I turned 24 because I'm old as Um that's about it. I got a new lens, got a new Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter, which I'm absolutely loving using at the moment. It is so good. So let's just jump straight in. The first section of this month, as always, is the favorite photos that I took this month. So the first one is this one, which is of Bella. I took this on the vintage lens I got at the start of the month. The reason I like it is because it's taken a 60 year old lens that I've adapted and mounted onto my Sony a7 III. Um, which gives it this really vintage retro look in my opinion. I then gave it a quick edit to make enhance that vintage look and yeah, Bella just looks cute. And it's just one of my favorite photos of the month. The second photo of this month is I've been really getting into product photography recently. And I've got a few bits from the brand Gope, not as in, not as in from the brand, as in purchased, as in paid for. And, and I decided to do a little photo shoot with their products because they kind I really like the packaging that their products came in. As silly as it sounds, I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, but yeah, so I decided to do a little photo shoot with that. And this is my favorite photo from that shoot. I was really happy with the way I did the set. I spent ages setting up all the shot, setting up all the products, angling all the shots. Uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with how the photos of it came out. This being my favorite one. Bonus extra shot is for my birthday, I got this pack of Fujifilm Instax Mini film but it's actually supreme branded because they did a drop on my birthday and i got that for my birthday and it's just a sick little product so i got this shot of it which i'm really happy with i think it's a really cool shot and final shot for this month is one i got the other day which was for the isolation vlog i'll link that above here it only just came out i was challenged by my friend andrew to go out and get a shot with the theme of isolation you can watch the whole process of getting this shot in the vlog but this is the shot I got and I'm just really happy with it. Okay jumping straight into the next section of this video shouting out my three favourite Instagram posts for this month. First one we're going to start off with a little bit political it's this this shot by July the photo guy taken during the riots in Minneapolis Minneapolis America <laughs> taken during the riots that are going on in America at the moment this shot is just oh proper documentary shot this the like this shot is going to go down in the history books in the photo the guy is holding the american flag upside down which is a sign of distress in the background you've got a burning building this looks like a photo out of the purge like it looks like a film but this is real life and that's terrifying and this photo really conveys that emotion that this is happening in real life this is scary the fact that this is happening and just incredible shot massive deserves a lot of recognition. Second shot of the month is by a guy called Just K, and it is this shot taken above the clouds. Doesn't say where it's from, but yeah, absolutely insane shot. I would just imagine like this. Oh, I need to travel again. I need. I need to just. I need to go and explore because these shots like this make me realise that I need to get out of a of this bedroom because in here a lot at the moment, and b out of the UK. Yeah, shots like this make me want to travel. They're just so inspiring and I love it. I love it. So yeah, fantastic shot. Go give him a follow. Final favorite photo for this month is by a guy called Christian Felder. This guy did an awesome nine piece set on Instagram using the theme of social distancing and remaining six feet apart from each other. Uh, in, these, in this set, he used a tape measure and got people to stand, got random strangers to stand six feet away from him using a tape measure as a leading line and it's a really creative way to capture such a simple concept. And I really like it. It really shows, it's a really good way of documenting what's going on right now, and especially in the UK. And yeah, I absolutely love it. Amazing shots, so big up Christian. And the final section of this video is my favorite feed of the month. So my favorite feed of this month is a guy called Nathan MCB or Nathan McBride. I came across his feed because he did a advert for DJI of the DJI Mavic Air 2 and he made the advert which I'll link up above here because it is insane. The drone piloting, the visuals, just the landscape, just oh, 
insane piece of art absolutely insane so check that out that's how i found that's how i actually came across his work i then found his instagram through that video through that advert through dji and was blown away his work is insane again again this is one that makes me want to travel again because just look at what there is to see out in the world but i know i have been very lucky to see what a lot already but I want to see more. I want to see it all. I want to see it all. But yeah, that's it for May's month review. If there's any creators you want to shout, you think I should have a look at, drop them down below. I'd love to check them out. I'm always looking for new people to follow on Instagram just to get inspired and creative. But yeah, as always, I hope everyone's staying creative, staying safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yeet. Honest. I need a just quarantine haircut. This is this is a tame day. This doesn't look too bad right now. It's it's been bad. It's been bad.